what is up guys and welcome yet to um, another video and yes as you can probably see behind me the arm is been set up onto the desk um, I do want to apologize that um, I never took you through it on the video it's just that this thing was more hassle than what it was worth it was really really annoying to set up now I'll try and explain the bracket in the center here had no way to clamp to the desk because there was only a little lip or a little opening like that uh, where you can pass the cables through and as you know these clamps need to clamp onto a bit of desk like this so I sort of had to modify that um, I did start recording um, the video for it but <laughs> um, I had so many uh, bad moments um, installing this um, mount that literally drove me up the wall there was a lot of effing and blinding uh, in the video and I just thought it was a bit tasteless uh, to have a video um, of that stature uh, being put onto the channel. Um, but during this video, there is a little unboxing of the arms so you can see exactly what's going on. Um, that was pre-recorded yesterday. I was meant to do um, a part two of um, doing the unboxing of the arm. And then part three uh, would have been uh, the installation of the arm. But like I've just said it really did. Um, drive me up the wall uh, which was um, very very annoying it was one of them days where everything didn't go right um, everything went wrong um, and a lot of things happened yesterday uh, which which really infuriated me uh, which I'll try to explain a little bit about in this video so as you can see though the arm looks absolutely gorgeous it looks fine like I just said you know as you can just see here the arms are not in or shall I say the monitors are not in sequence by height so they're not level which uh, doesn't bother me at all I still think it looks pretty pretty awesome um, the problem I had was with this monitor um, that it never had no center bracket um, four screw holes in the back so I had to sort of modify the bottom of the bracket um, in order to mount it onto the arm which is only got two screws uh, but it's strong enough. The only problem I've got with this, um, the weight seems to tilt the bracket down. So I managed to tighten that up and sort that out. So that's fantastic. That looks good. Uh, but all in all, you know, it doesn't look too bad. Um, it feels great to use. I feel like I've got a hell of a lot of real estate now. Um, yeah, and I'm really, really happy with it. Um, I will be upgrading to two, say, 34-inch ultra-wide monitors, which would be absolutely perfect for this arm, I think. But that won't happen uh, for a little while uh, at the moment. At the moment, this is doing exactly uh, what I need it to do, uh, which is great. Um, so I'm happy with it. Um, and it looks uh, uh, very, very tidy. So, yeah, like I just said, in this video, we will be having the unboxing uh, for this arm. Um, which I'll play in a minute. So in the video, obviously, I'll, I'll say this is going to be, you know part two and part three but obviously part three went totally wrong because the amount of hassle this bracket cost uh, calls me to install everything sort of went wrong the bar fell down at the back of the desk smashed me on the head it was like a comedy moment but there was a lot of effing and blinding in the video and a, a, a lot of screaming a lot of shouting um, and a lot of angry moments because this thing was so awkward to install it was unbelievable especially mounting the uh, monitors itself it was absolutely oh uh, drove me up the wall and the point is you know i wasn't in the mood to do it yesterday anyway um, because of what happened to this fella i do know you remember my powerbook g4 uh, i've got a little story about that um which i'll explain to you in a, a moment uh, actually i'll explain it to you now so this was a mint condition uh, 15.2 inch powerbook g4 titanium absolutely mint i was going to implement it onto the setup but then i thought there's no point putting this onto the setup if i've got three displays um it's absolutely pointless i might as well when i'm running hackintosh just have this one in um logic pro x um, and that'd be fine exactly the way i've got auditions running on it at the moment uh, via windows 10 um it would work great so i decided to sell this uh macbook um, and I sent it over to um, Greece. The, the, the buyer from eBay begged me to send it over to Greece, uh, which I didn't want to do. Um, and I wrapped it absolutely perfect. I sent it via the most expensive shipping. 
and literally it just turned up at the post. I don't know if there's any juice in this, but it turned up in the post, absolutely destroyed. It, you know, if you do suffer from a weak disposition, guys, and you do love these vintage Max, um, turn away now because this is absolutely going to break your heart because it broke my heart uh, the way I returned it, well, the way it was returned. I'm, I'm absolutely fuming with the eBay or the buyer, shall I say. He's an absolute twat. Look what he's done to it. You see that? He's completely smashed the screen um, on it. Absolute asshole. I'm sorry about the language there, but yeah, he dented the front on it. And then the asshole turned around and said he wanted a refund for it when all this was his doing. But as you can see, now I need to um, uh, buy a new screen for this. It was immaculate, this machine. Absolutely immaculate. I'm just going to power it down now. Um, yeah. Thankfully, all the insides work. I'm going to power it up to an external monitor. It all works absolutely fine. The only thing is the screen's destroyed. So, yeah, I was really, really hacked off about that yesterday because this is a beautiful piece of kit. Yes, it's not the fastest Mac in the world, but it was still a nice vintage piece. I did a lot of stuff on this uh, little MacBook surfing the web. I used to really enjoy using this MacBook um, and using some of the old... Uh, 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 well, sort of take myself back in time and using the old versions of Final Cut and the old versions of, you know, Logic and stuff like that. This was an amazing little Mac, but this twat um, from eBay absolutely destroyed it. And then when he did return it, he returned it without the plug. You know, he returned it without stuff. So I'm in the middle of a battle on eBay at the moment because he feels he's returned it. He feels he can get his money back, um, which um, obviously eBay are, are a bit twatty in that, um, in that respect because they always favour the buyer. They never favour the seller. So I've I, I've got so annoyed with this. I shut my PayPal account. I thought, no way is this guy getting his money back. Absolutely no way is he getting his money back. This machine was sent in mint condition. He's absolutely destroyed it. And then he had the audacity to send it back to me in that condition, missing the power plug and everything, and want his money back. That situation yesterday really annoyed me, and it really did break my heart because... I, you know, these these little machines ain't worth a lot of money now, as we all know. Um, but they're more on the collector sort of factor. He's got a, a really special place in a lot of people's hearts. And a lot of you guys out there that do love these vintage Macs will be very upset as, as much as I am when they've just seen what they've just seen. I mean, there's a little dent around the front here, you know, just here, a little dent. So that's going to have to be banged in. I will buy another screen for it because I cannot leave it like that. It will upset me too much. So I will buy another screen for it. And there will be a dedicated video of uh, how to install a brand new screen uh, to one of these. But this came back exactly the same time or came to my house exactly the same time that the uh, arm turned up. So I was already really annoyed when I first opened this and I thought to myself, what is going on here? And I saw the state of this Mac. Um, and you know I started recording the video for this arm setting this arm up and I was in a really bad mood uh, because of that this started going wrong because I wasn't focusing on this job properly and yeah it all went tits up the video turned out to be a lot of swearing a lot of bad bad language and I really thought that was a bit tasteless to upload a video like that so I do apologize about that and I do hope um, hope you uh, uh, forgive me uh, for that but hopefully this video of the unboxing of this um uh, arm shall i say uh, will make up for it so yeah sit back um, and enjoy this little video of me basically unboxing this arm and showing you basically what it's all about so it's very quick it's very simple um but still yet yeah, better than nothing so uh thank you for listening and enjoy the video what is up guys and welcome yet to a, another video and we're going to do a little unboxing of this beast so if i just turn around that is the bracket for our desk setup so i thought this might be part two of the uh, desk setup uh, video um obviously it's going to be set up on this desk setup so it's a triple arm display uh which is going to be awesome 
So I thought I'd set the camera up, do an unboxing today's video, and then tomorrow um, you'll see the setup video, which is cool. So I'm just going to put you into a decent position because it's quite large, um, and we'll get cracking. Right, so I hope I'm not too far away from you. So I'm going to put this on the table and let's unbox it together. Ugh, weighs a ton, I know that for nothing. And we'll just uh, unbox it. So this arrived approximately five, ten minutes ago, which is great. I'm going to be presented with a brown box. Typical, nothing to um, see. But we'll open it up together um, and then just go from there. So I'm just going to make it a bit of a frame. Open basically to see what we've got in the box. Okay, so here it is. This is the proper triple R uh, death mount. Uh, that's what you're calling it. And it is huge. Absolutely human humongous so let me just uh, take you over to the box but yeah it's the proper uh, triple arm uh, desk monitor uh, desk monitor mount so I'm just going to uh, change the angles of the camera somehow um, if I've got some space for that and um, yeah we'll just unbox this now so I'm just going to basically stick you here hopefully you've got a decent view I'm just going to me knife and just slice open the box. Or we'll just look at some of the bits inside the box and have a look what we've got. So typical, this is all the way around, this is sellotapes. So I'm sorry if the camera's moving guys, it's just that uh, the 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 uh, what do you call it, the tripod is on the table, the gorilla pod. So if it moves the camera, I do apologise about that. Right, this is a beast. I'll just get rid of the packaging here. And um, I'll just pick it up to show you how it's uh, presented. So this is it here. Uh, triple uh, mount, which looks absolutely insanely awesome. We've got a user guide there. So put that to one side. And I'm just going to have a look what we've got here. We've got some screw mounts uh, here. That is obviously uh, for monitors by the looks of it. So you can screw the monitors in, which is great. Uh, we've got some more uh, monitor mounts, which is great that they provide them in the box. Here we've got some, that looks like some tools and some more mounts. We've got some more. Uh, monitor mounts, which is great. Really loads of monitor mounts with this package, uh, which is awesome. And I'm just going to put you back to the other position over here, uh, like that. So about the movement, guys. Um, I'll just take this out of the box and uh, we can have a decent look at it. So I'm just going to put this to one side for now, so I can see what else is in the box without that falling over. You should have um, the clamp, which is huge, which goes on the desk. It's absolutely humongous, this thing. Um, and that looks like, no, nope, it's not the end. So we've got another uh, couple of pieces of plastic here. And we've got some fittings here by the looks of it. So we'll just have a look in here. Oh, this is the arm, which is solid, solid steel, I tell you. Pretty meaty, so I'm just going to make sure this box is empty. Put it to one side and bring the brackets basically into view. So you can obviously see that there. I'm um, just having a look at what. So we've got total movement on this. I don't know how far it's going to go left to right, but yeah, this looks blooming insane. This bracket. Um, this will obviously uh, go in to here from the bottom or from the bottom there, is that right? 
probably needs loosening up. But this is weighs a ton. This is such a good quality stand. Let's open this up here. And obviously this is the part which basically uh, clamps to the desk. And this bit here screws in uh, like that. So let's just uh, screw that in. Like so there's a little screw hole there. I don't know if you can see that. Or two screw holes by the looks of it. Which is... Oh, listen to that. Something's just fallen off. There, which is the end cap and this has even got I don't know if you can see that there um, a little cable tidy to clamp all the wires so absolutely insanely good uh, monitor arm so yeah that is the unboxing of the uh, proper let's move this um, monitor mount which looks absolutely insanely cool. These are fully adjustable, so these move left and right, up and down. Hopefully we're going to get some good results uh, mounting this on the desk, uh, which should be cool. So, there it is. This, the, the brackets arrived, which is fantastic. So, in tomorrow's video, we're going to set it all up. So, we're going to have a full setup. We're going to mount the monitors on it, um, and hopefully uh, make it look really, really cool. So if you've enjoyed this little unboxing, like me, it would definitely be appreciated. And as always, guys, I'll definitely catch you in tomorrow's video. Ciao, ciao.